Ayo, here we go. Alright, let's go back to the throne room and see if anybody's like, diddle diddle. Okay. Uh, six days for that. 23 days for that. Military currently rank two, it'll rank up. You have to work on getting the last three emotes. What are the last three emotes? Hey, what's up, Graves? What's up, Mom? How are y'all? Last three emotes? What are you talking about? Uh... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're doing well? That's excellent. Okay. So they said I need to go to the river. I don't know. Okay, so that quest is just done. Time to explore the G Gudrun River, east of the capital. Okay. I guess I guess we have to leave. Uh, I did clean up my inventory. That's good. Uh, the I I can wait on that. That's not important. Leave. We shall take... Boop. 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 You know, I wonder if I just leave Amiri behind. Let's see how this rolls. Let's see how this rolls for a little bit. Uh, okay, so I want you to be here. Actually, no, you're melee. You need to be a little closer to the front. You need to be, like, next. You can be in the back. Okay. So where's this Gudrun River? Or Gudrun? Gudrun River. So they say it's along the banks. Interesting that there's a, uh, there's a thing over here I haven't seen before. I'm wondering if that's part of it. There we go this way. Hello. Goblin Fort. High hewn log walls. Uh. Although goblins are not known for skilled architects, the fortifications look impressive. Moreover, the little creatures even arranged. Path to this location is unknown. Really? Who's the third person you weren't here for them? Uh, oh, that's Knock Knock. He is a goblin rogue. Oh, that's a squirrel. I thought there was something invisible there. I was like, it's going down! Okay, I'm going to delay you until... That's the alpha. That there's a ferocious there. Oh, he almost took out the. Okay. 
40 sneak attack damage. It's dead. <laughs> Man, yeah, I think he might be a half decent replacement for uh, Amiri. We'll see how it goes. A dog bite that one. Good. Thorgrim. He's dead. Yes. There are a lot of puppos here. Alright, you. Where's that one? That's this one? Light all those dogs on fire. Strike <laughs> wasted. Nice. We kind of set up Knock Knock to be a backstabbing rogue. So he kind of has to get set up for that stuff, but... Like, he's got an ability that makes it so that he can essentially sneak attack on anyone at any time. Forget where it is. Double slice, two weapon fighting. Sneak attack five, rogue proficiencies. Hammer the gap, we got that. Double slice. Your offhand weapon while dual wielding strikes with greater power. Add your strength bonus to your offhand weapon. Oh, he's got toughness too. Well, that's good. Weapon focus kukri. There was something that was all like his, he can basically uh, sneak attack on almost anything. Like he doesn't actually need to be flanking somebody. Huh. All right, so this obviously isn't it. Let's go here. Oh, it's this guy again. What's up, dude? Show me your wares. Leather armor grants... Oh, he is wearing that armor. Okay. Shocking Rapier. It's something good. Well, I don't know how to get to that Goblin Fort. I'm guessing I come here and cross the river, maybe? Huh. You want to stop? Okay. Let's rest here. Manage. 
Camouflage. Uh, you're a hunter. He's a cook. He does that. He helps me here, because you're plus zero there. Okay. Don't do that. Hunting. I respect your faith, but I can't agree with it. Of course they must. Interesting. Um, path to this location is unknown. It's so weird. I can see the place, and I have a mission to go up the Gudrun River and help find Keston and his to 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 find Keston and his militia. But I I can't get there. That's so weird. What's here? March, march. All I do is march. Interesting. You're a kind person, Tristian. I tr I guess we'll I was going to say I guess we'll go to that village but I got stopped immediately We're going to hear Spriggan crossbowman To victory! Build the Spriggan. Knock, knock. You step off to the side here so Dog can get out. Spriggan, Spriggan. <laughs> Stupid. Hey, Doggo. Hello? Oh, there's another one there, too. Repent. Okay. Under their stomach. What the hell was that? It's... Whoa! Uh... Okay, that's fine. Uh, Christian, hello? Knock knock is gonna take forever to get up there, but Man. 
Can you see him? No. A clever ploy. <laughs> Uh, this is dog. Dog can come get this guy. Alright, so he's dead, essentially. Seren Ray, be generous to them, for I am not. Nice. Knock, knock. <laughs> yep, that's what I thought. Jubilus has got no chance. Here, just loot that, would you? Ah. Uh, that's fine. You can loot him. You can loot this guy. If not, it'll prompt me right here. Okay. Lake Silverstep Village. Okay, we'll go here. Wow, this is sizable. The house used to be neat and cozy once, but now it looks almost abandoned. The door is shut tight. Before you is a pot. Wait. Before you is a pile of torn sheets of paper scribbled on in steady handwriting. The text is faded and almost unreadable. Well, if it's almost unreadable, we'll give it to me. Hunter's letter. That for I need to go here. You know, Lisa, my father always used to scold me, saying, Ivar, you shouldn't wag your tongue so much. I never listened. Remember the day of your matchmaking? The headman's son came to you, gave you those nice boots only city lady would wear, and his servants brought a barrel of honey and a crate of sausages. Then Mengar the smith came, brought an ornate door casting, skillfully crafted locks, and piles of other houses, housewares, and said he was going to decorate a house for the two of you with all that he had crafted. I came late in the evening after all them had left, and I was, and all I brought was a bunch of wildflowers. I set them on the porch and said, I saw a Nixie crying in the forest. She planned to make a lantern of my heart, but she found my heart was already taken. It's bad fortune to make Nixies cry, so Lady Lisa, would you uh, go to the forest and give me the heart you've taken so anyone who may need it more than you? you? Told me I was a fool and then you kissed me. For our wedding, you invited your relatives, the old miller's widow and stupid Asel, the fisherman, out of pity, I suspect, as no one wanted to spend time around him. I invited frogs, wind, the full moon, 
Brother Moon, I said, please be so kind as to share your light with everyone, for my bride tires of, of shining over this world alone. The frog sang along, and Aesol and you were more beautiful than the moon. The frog sang along with Aesol. You were more beautiful than the moon and more cheerful than the spring wind. Ari was about to turn five and Milka just four. And I'd spent a month a month dragging fish to the cliff and cursing a stupid wyvern who just could, wouldn't be lured. When I finally lured her, I chased her through the bushes, collecting her silver scales here and there after they fell. It wouldn't have been so hard to deck. Yeah, it wouldn't have been so hard to decorate our garden with those scales if I hadn't done it at night. Then the morning came and our children went silent, their mouths agape, hundreds of silver lights sparkling atop apple and cherry trees. I hid my scratched hands in my sleeves and scoffed. This isn't so special. You'd never notice how the stars hide in the trees from the cunning sky cat. You looked at me with a, without a word, but I could still hear your words in my mind. You're such a fool, Ivar. I love you. I don't remember how I came up with the story of the silver dragon. I came home one. I came home late with a black grouse I had shot and said it was hard. It was a hard fight. I just couldn't aim properly. This dragon kept peep, peeping out from the clouds, blinding me with his silver wings. You saw a real dragon, Dad? Not the whole dragon, no. You see, the only way to see the dragon is if two loving souls climb up to the high cliff under a new moon hand in hand. At the time, I wasn't thinking about how dark the night was, or how steep the path on the top of the cliff was, especially for little feet, or how wet rocks were after the rain. I was just looking at you, wishing it was us two loving souls, hand in hand, sneaking away up to the skies, as we did when we weren't that much older than Ari and Mika. The next morning, you woke first, and it was you who found our children's beds emptied. You said nothing to me then. Not then. Not when we walked through the misty woods. Not when we found Mika's doll at the start of the path leading to the cliff. You kept silent as I ascended from the chasm with Ari's body in my hands. You said nothing when Aesol brought Mika's body, found further out at the lake shore near the cliff. You're such a fool, Ivar. You wag your tongue too much. It was just a story, another of your stupid fairy tales. How could it end this way? I'm so sorry, Lisa. Better you married the smith or the headman's son or even stupid Aesol. Anyone but me. It's all my fault. Please forgive me. And let me go. Today, I, I'll go to the children's graves and... Uh, rip. Grant you dead. All right. We need to adjust my, um, my fighting stance thing. Because he's not supposed to be in the back. Akundayo is. Let's delay you until after the lizard. Oh, there's... Oh. Well, whatever. Out of my way! Wow. Get wrecked, nerd. Knock, knock. Can you reach him? You can. 
Oh, 30 damage. Sick. Whoa, hello. Primitives. You forced my hand. Valerie. Get in here, would you? I don't like you. That one's dead. Cannot hide from me. Okay, that's cleared up. Whoa. Uh Let's do that. Gotcha, nerd. Let us strike as one. Okay. All of that. Where's this lady at? Used. The heck is she? Oh, wait, Jubilus has communal sea invisible, doesn't he? Crap. I don't see her. Sending up somebody up there with like insane perception. Her at all, so we're just gonna stay there. Valerie, it's like right here. <laughs> I'm on top of her. All right, found you now, lady. Okay. Nowhere to run. All right, let's break. Oh my god. Knock, knock, just stay down, did you? Sono Daniel. 
All right. I'll try to make this swift. <coughs> oh, excuse me, goodness. I aim true. level is she? Uh, 11. Oh, I'm getting. Ah, screw that lady. Holy crap. Or do you have anything to fix that? Plus a restoration on you. I'm leaking red all over myself. Okay. And now it wears off. Great. <laughs> Uh, the corpse of a tall man lies torn apart on the shore. The man was probably an experienced fighter in life, but it didn't do him much good in the end. You notice a tuft of red fur clenched in the dead man's hand. Whoever killed this man, it seemed he was unlikely to tazel. Yeah, it was that lady. That's pretty good. All right, so That seems reasonable. Head on. Okay, yeah, that looks better. Climb the cliff. I mean, why do that when I can just walk around? It's literally where I came from. Interesting. Oh, there's loot right here. Oh. Lika. Uh, Nixie, slim and disheveled, is sobbing. Noticing strangers, she flinches. Not again. What are you doing here? What do you want? Go away! If my family sees you, you're as good as dead. What's your name? I'm Lika. The lake is our home. Uh, though we've let other people live around here, too. Oh, we never should have done that. We should have chased those foolish bumpkins away as soon as they started building their houses here. Now they've brought disaster upon us all. 
Why are you crying? My family kicked me out, all because of what I did to that stupid boat. Everyone was furious when the evil box fell in the lake, but I was just trying to do the right thing. Tell me what happened. Those men brought trouble, the ones from the big boat. They came from Tours of Lebanese and brought a scary box with them. Even the fish in the lake could tell the box was very, very evil. But those fools on the boat just laughed, bowing to the box, calling themselves Karen's Chosen or something. They claimed he'd reward them soon. I was the one who rewarded them, though. I made them crash that big boat against the foot of the cliff and sink themselves. I know, who, I know who Karen is. Karen, I know that name. An ancient deity of death and evil. I was not aware he still had any worshippers. You drown the travelers. Yes, that was the last anyone saw of him. The evil box sunk too. If I hadn't done it, they'd have opened the box, you understand. Something terrible would have happened. What was in the box? How should I know? I just know the box is evil. Everyone but the stupid humans can sense it. Fish started jumping ashore after the box fell in the lake. Wolves took to hunting up north to get away from it, and the humans wanted to open it. First uh, first the ones from the boat, and now the ones who came for it. He said someone's trying to open the box again? More strangers. They hid in the cave near the lake. They've been using hooks and big nets to try to retrieve the box. It's a treasure, a treasure, that's what one of them said. How can that thing be a treasure? It's a huge scary box and has a picture of a one-eyed skull with a coin on it. I don't know where it came from, but I know uh, it's somewhere I never want to visit. What's that have to do with me? Now the Nixies are all mad at the strangers. They say all strangers bring us trouble. First they brought a horrible ancient thing here, and now the strangers are trying to fish it out of the lake and open it. Let's drive us, uh, let's drive everyone but us Nixies away, and then we'll have peace and quiet like before. Uh, I can help. You look really strong. Can you do something about that evil box, maybe? I just wish it would disappear. Then all the other Nixies would forgive me and stop being angry about the humans. Thank you. You're so nice. See what I have to deal with, guys? <laughs> Ugh. She brings you drinks and snacks. Worst. The worst. I'll help if I can. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Just be careful, the box is creepy. Okay. We have to we have to deal with the scary box. In your window. Not that I care. I grant you death. Uh, hello? Period. Uh -huh. So it's come to this. Unexpected. There's a frog there. Will they ever learn? Repent. Okay. I 
I apparently can't attack the water elemental. It was weird. Do not falter. Way. <sighs> Cannot hide from me. Wow, he was rolling terribly. Throw an acid vial there. <laughs> What's up, Immentail? My fire has limited effect on a water elemental. Might as well take him out first. Uh, well, can't move you for some reason. Come on, dog, let me control you. Alright, come here. Bite him in the butt. Hey, let's go. Hit that water elemental in the butt. A fine use of my talents. Okay, good, good. <laughs> Actually, take out these water elementals. Water elementals, mirror images, I mean. Can I knock either of you down? No. But that was good damage, though. I don't like you. Bro. Hey, stop it, dog. You forced my hand. Nowhere to run. Will you stop casting displacement on her, fucker? Okay. Um. Uh, 
Do we have Dispel Magic? I don't think oh. so. I do have fairy fires somewhere. Can I cast it right there? Alright, cool. Now they should be a little easier to hit. Fairy fire won't help? Sure looks like it did. Man, they have something out against that against dog. It's against invisibility? Yeah, she was invisible. Smear them. You know, whatever happened to spells being cast on people, and when the person casting the spell dies, the spell drops. Like, why is she still, uh, displaced? 40 seconds! Fuck. I'll try to make this swift. I'll split you! Thank you. God dang. Just a plain dagger. We'll take all of that. Holy cow, dude. Dog, come over here. You died, right? I wish I could see Dog's thing down here. That would be really helpful. 42 hit points. Uh. Did you only have one cast of Lesser Restoration? Yeah. Minus four, minus one. Okay, so if I'm going to clear it on someone, I should clear it on Valerie. Didn't it show there was a... What am I seeing? Hello? Oh, a warg. Hey, cool. Shoot it! Uh, aim true! Would run around. Wow, these bushes suck. <laughs> it looks like it's just wards. Isn't too bad. You dead. <laughs> that hurts. Good.
So it's come to this. Onward! <laughs> Cannot hide from me. Knock, knock, close to light. It destroyed. Right here, my friend. The heck do you have on you? Oh, you also have fairy fire on you. Oh, rip. <laughs> I guess I can't go invisible now. <laughs> Like silver step. Yep. Ignore the giant hunting party coming through. Fishing tackle is neatly packed and dry. It obviously hasn't been used recently. Grilled silver eel. Okay. How much longer, I wonder? Ladika? Asol? I heard about you. You're apparently a non-intelligent uh, fisherman. Dire boar. Not that I care. Keep your eyes open. We'll do it the hard way. No mods. What difficulty am I playing on? N nor normal? I don't know. Is there a way to check? Options? Difficulty? Normal? Alright, knock knock. Get up here. No, this is my first time playing, so all vanilla is possible. Hey, biggies. Ekun. 
Rude. <laughs> Go stab him in the butt. What species is Knock Knock? He's a goblin. Some piggies. Will this ever end? Let's talk to Asel. What up, dog? A ruddy faced villager waves to you cheerfully. Hello there, traveler. A good day to you, a good day to us all. The Silver Dragon himself turned this into a feast for us. And why, you may ask? All because I forgot my fishing gloves at home. What? Who are you? I'm Asel, a fisherman. I mean, I was a fisherman when I did fishing. I don't fish now, so I guess I'm not a fisherman anymore? Uh, do you have any idea who I am? Well, don't say that. Dragon Feast? What's going on here? I'm telling you, I went fishing, but I left my fishing gloves at home. So? So I blistered my hands pulling out the nets. So I couldn't fish anymore. So I had to go hungry. Had to, but didn't. Because fish started jumping out of the water. So our great silver dragon took care of me. He must have been watching and thinking, how will this poor sod Aesol get by with blistered hands? How will he fish? Well, excuse me, what will he eat? How about I send some fish ashore for him? Uh, now I think I'll never bring my fishing gloves again. So, so for, so fish will always jump out of the lake on their own. It'll be great. Uh, tell me about your fish situation. Just go to the shore and see for yourself. They jump right out of the water. You can barely keep up with collecting and salting them. We made three barrels since the morning dawned, and our barrels are really big, not just normal barrels. Tell me about this dragon. Well, he's a huge dragon, a silver one. That's why he's called the Silver Dragon. Man, this guy is fucking sharp. He's very kind and always helps us. That lake is one of his footprints filled with water. That's how we got the lake. I've got one of his scales. It's my lucky charm. Ivar gave it to me. You can search around for him. Maybe he'll give you one too. Have you seen the dragon with your own eyes? Sure did. Day before yesterday. Two months ago too. Purvis, the traitor, says I'm a fool and I was it was just a thundercloud, but you shouldn't listen to him. So what exactly has this dragon done to help you? He sent Ivar to us. Well, not sent, really. Ivar was here before, but he was only a hunter, not a dragon's voice. When Ivar became the dragon's voice, everything got better all at once. Most of the bandits disappeared from the roads. Monsters stopped attacking us in the wolves, and wolves... woods? Sorry. And wolves don't even take our cattle anymore. And then, and now there's the fish on top of that. Yeah, the silver dragon is the best dragon. Dragons that huge don't exist. Maybe not in other places, but our dragon is one of a kind. Let's talk about Ivar. Ivar, yes, he's good. Who is he? It's the dragon's voice. The silver dragon tells him things. Tells Ivar, tells, then Ivar tells us. Like when the dragon chased the wolves away from our herd, he told Ivar, and Ivar told us. And when he scared the monsters away so they wouldn't attack us, he told Ivar that too. We get all kinds of good news from Ivar. Something terrible happened to him, didn't it? Why, why'd you have to remind me of that? Ivar, he, he wasn't the dragon's voice before. He used to live here, in a house in the northwest. He used to go hunting and tell us all kinds of stories, like a real bard would. Had a family too, but then... Well, one night his kids ran away, tried to climb to the top of the cliff in the middle of the night. It was a bad night, rainy and dark. They fell down. As far as anyone could tell, the boy probably slipped first and his girl tried to help him, but she couldn't. She fell too, farther away. I helped search for them the next morning and I hurried to bury them. And I helped bury them. Lisa, Ivar's wife, she got sick right after and never recovered. And Ivar, well, he went odd. And that's when the silver dragon started talking to him. 
Uh, I need to tell you something about the fish in this dress. Well, let, let's talk later. He was in a hut in the northwest, huh? Head up there. Depend on me. Nowhere to run. I shall end this suffering. Get him, Ekun. Nice. Another grader over there. Doggo will come over here. Christian, uh, you can stay right there, actually. And Valerie, right into the thick of it. I like this battle music, by the way. It's really good. Out of my way! Got that one. Uh, let's shoot that one. Okay. Why have you not gone yet? Let's delay you until... Sorry, before Valerie. Christian. Oh, there's two graders back there. Oh, would you look at that? Man, this music slaps, right? I don't like you! Get one down. Fish. Bro, what happened to the music, though? For real. Some unknown power made entire schools of fish jump ashore. Some of the fish are already dead, but others twitch, their eyes bulging and their mouths opening and closing silently, as if out of desperation and horror. This is kind of actually pretty creepy. Alright, hold up. We're going to save real quick. We're going to reload. Desktop. I gotta wait for it to finish sinking. Hold on, everybody. Sorry. Finish sinking to the cloud. One of these days. Three weeks later. How do 
What the heck's going on? Alright, sorry about that. Will this ever end? I don't know, man. Will it begin? That's a question. Some unknown power made fi uh, yep, I already read that. Okay. There is an entrance there into the cave. Not that I care. Uh, what are we looking at here? Direwolf. Alpha wolf, ferocious wolf. All right, tell you what, take out the ferocious, would you? Or warg, I guess. Repent. You forced my hand. So many flaming weapons? Well, it's the best thing I've got, so... Might as well. Amiri isn't here, and she's the one with the, um, like, acid weapons and frost Not weapons. Not used to lighting enemies on fire first. I'll try to make this swift. Nice. Fight him. Follow me, or don't. <laughs> 